What's going on everyone? Josh from Colossus Fitness here and today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite shoulder exercises, the bottoms up press. The reason I love this exercise so much and why you must add it to your routine is there's a ton of stability work throughout it. Yes, you're working your shoulders, but you're also working those glutes, that core stability, everything to really balance you out so you can have a clean press throughout. Before you get into the bottoms up press, I really recommend you get the single arm dumbbell press down. I also have a tutorial for that, so if you haven't seen that, watch that first, then come back here as you advance. Um, but the key thing is that you do have that 45 degree angle, you are bracing those abs and glutes. The second you have a weak trunk, the second is that will be the second you cannot press. So the strong trunk is the key to everything. So first and foremost, as you can see here on the screen, you wanna pike the kettlebell into position. This is the safest way to do it, to prevent any pain in your back when you are hinging that dumbbell, or rather bottoms up press, so that kettlebell up. So as you can see, when you have it in a safe position, you want a really strong grip. And like I said, to really establish that level of stability, you need to squeeze those glutes. The second my glutes go weak, the second I can't do it. So the biggest key, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, really establish a strong position. If you want, you can stabilize with your other arm on your hip, or you can put it on your back glute, whatever feels best for you. From this position, you're continuing to squeeze your glutes and your abs. You're gonna power that up right to the sky, bring it down with control, and going back up. Key here is that you don't level out to the side and inward. That's when you're gonna to wanna to drop the kettlebell. And if that does happen, let it naturally drop to position, bring it down, take a second to reset. I really, really recommend you do start with a lighter kettlebell. But here is one more quick video of me going through A to Z of this exercise, showing you some reps. Right after that, Kyle's gonna show you three common mistakes that you're gonna to wanna to avoid. And before we jump into the common mistakes, I want you to click that first link in the description for a full detailed personal trainer in your pocket form guide so you can make sure you're doing all exercises properly every single time you're in the gym. Make sure to check it out, it's free and you will not regret it. So jumping into common mistake number one, just like literally most exercises in the gym, a lot of times, especially, people are doing this exercise because it's gonna help relieve achy elbows, shoulders. Even myself, I have shoulder impingement. It's a great exercise for rehab, and it's just, it trains the pressing motion without putting too much strain on specific things. So, a lot of times, people don't leave their ego to the door. They see the biggest kettlebell, they'll pick it up, and they're just, you know, just struggling to even get a few up. I really recommend trying out a weight that you're comfortable with. You can do anywhere between six and 10 reps and then going from there. And just one small bonus, if you can't do both arms equally, what I'd recommend doing is let's say using your weaker arm first, doing let's say six reps here, going and doing eight reps here, and then doing two reps on here afterwards to make sure you're working each arm individually the same amount of reps. So common mistake number two is improper wrist and arm position. I see this very often, right? Someone never tries this exercise, and what they wanna do is they just pick it up and they're just like this, okay? This is improper, right? You know, this is a shoulder press, but it's not gonna give you the same benefits as when you take your arms, you keep a nice 90 degree angle here, and just a nice 90 degree angle here, and keep a nice straight line, okay? So try to avoid switching your grip to this or to this or anything like that. Keep a nice straight line and then just go all the way up and then all the way down. I guarantee you, this is the way it's gonna look. When you first try it, you're gonna go like this, you're gonna give it a shot and then you're just gonna go and then it's just gonna fall down, okay? So really making sure you're keeping everything tight, a nice straight line. You're really just getting that nice straightness. That's the biggest thing here because a lot of times everything's gonna wanna shift and it's gonna be annoying for the first little while. So use lighter weights and make sure that even if you have to reset and do one and then bring it back down, reset, continue to do that and you will see great benefits. But making sure that everything's in proper positioning is huge. And last but not least, common mistake number three, just like also a lot of exercise in the gym, is lack of tightness. You're gonna know when you're not super tight for this exercise. You know, if you wanna do a bench press and fake it till you make it or a shoulder press or whatever, you can do it. But because you're gonna be focusing a lot on stability, if you're loose like a noodle, you're not gonna be able to do it. So really start with driving your feet into the ground, really keeping the core tight, flex it, if you don't have your glutes engaged, you're not gonna be able to be in your strongest position, okay? All of these things, take it into consideration, keep nice and tight, keep everything flexed, and then go from there, okay? Once again, this is a great exercise even for building the rotator cuff strength. I'd say a common mistake number four is just not doing it. So if you have access to kettlebells, try it out. You will not regret it, and I've seen so many benefits. A lot of times my shoulder is achy and I'm just doing too, too much bench press and I don't wanna do a regular shoulder press. Doing this feels absolutely incredible because of the path that it has to take to get all the way up and then all the way down. So hey, hopefully you enjoyed this. Once again, we are the number one online fitness coaches helping you get the best results possible through fitness, uh, through nutrition, through accountability, through training, everything like that. So if you did want an elite coach to help you get results and keep results in 2021, we're your guys. Thank you for the support. Make sure to hit that like button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.